this craft than over Israel. The inexplicably eerie UFOs caught on tape over the Holy Land are some of the most extraordinary images ever recorded. As incredible as it sounds, some experts even believe they are proof we are being visited by extraterrestrials. September 1996. This peculiar and fascinating image was filmed by a resident of an area called Kafar Saba. When the craft first appeared, it resembled an apple with a strange top and bottom. Amazingly, this incredible UFO was seen again in a different configuration the next evening. After it appeared a third night, the videographer marveled at its intricate design. Look here at the many forms it seems to take. One night, there are three lights on top. The second night, only one. The third night, the lights take on the shape of a crown, and the entire object shrinks in size and turns a deep shade of orange. UFO researcher Michael Lindemann has never come across anything quite like this. Seeing the video of this thing, I must say it's, uh, it's very impressive, and I can't imagine what it is. It doesn't look like any prosaic object that I can think of. It doesn't bear any reasonable resemblance to a conventional aircraft of any kind. We showed the intriguing video to Dr. Bruce McAbee. He offers a possible explanation for what we're seeing. The question is, is this image shaped, actually the shape of the object, or has it been modified by the camera? If it's on automatic focus, it likely tries to focus at a wrong distance. When that happens, you get an image in which the shape of the image is related to the aperture of the camera rather than the actual shape of the object. But how is it possible that the same individual using the same camera captured three separate images on three separate nights? If so, what are we really looking at? Maccabee cannot say for sure. This thing right here suggests to me that the actual shape of the object has not got round things like that on it. It was a very bright light, which may well be a UFO. But the shape of the object is probably not this shape. But this amazing flying structured craft has no earthly explanation. It was seen over the small farming village of Kibbutz Hatsor for three consecutive nights in August of 1996. This video shot by a young resident of the kibbutz shows a bizarre looking partially lit craft with strange red markings and rectangular shapes. When the camera zooms in, we see what appears to be a light on the craft's left side take on amazing structure. The structure, some say, resembles a huge flying building with hallways. 17-year-old Amiche Shoa was stunned to be awakened by the strange bright object in the night sky. He watched in amazement as it hovered above for hours. He waited for its return the next night, video camera in hand. By the third night, word of the strange craft had spread, and some 60 members of the kibbutz came out to see it in all its glorious color. This time, Michi's batteries failed, but he managed to film the odd craft again using a neighbor's camera. Look what he managed to capture on tape. The structure is so massive that the illuminated portion is said to represent only 5 to 7 percent of its actual size. Is this the design of some otherworldly architect? As incredible as it sounds, some UFO researchers claim it could be housing alien inhabitants, giant aliens as described in the Bible. No one has ever seen one like this before. So it was captured on two separate nights, one separate morning. Over 100 people uh, uh, saw it. Barry Chamish is one of the most respected UFO investigators in Israel today. He believes that this is one of the most extraordinary UFOs ever caught on tape. What we're dealing with with Chatzor is a very large UFO. This thing is not just a, um, a round disc. This thing's got windows. It's got two rows of windows or vents or who knows what on earth they're shaped because they are very odd, offbeat squares and they managed to get a close-up of these vents. I mean, really close. You're right inside them. And uh, they could be teeth for all you know. 
and you have no idea what's attacking you. But this orange structure, I believe it's energy vents or something. Something to do with venting energy. The kibbutz is near an Israeli Air Force base, but Chamish is convinced this is no military craft. Everything is wrong. The dimensions are wrong. The squares aren't quite squares. If it was a military vehicle, it hasn't come back. It's never been, the likes of it have never been seen ever again. Then what was hovering above Israel for three consecutive nights that summer? Obviously, if this is up in the sky, there's nothing that's supposed to be up in the sky that looks quite like that. It apparently is some object which has got that sort of a size to it in this level of blow-up. When they zoom in and get a structured image out of this, uh, it's just plain... It doesn't look like anything that I've ever seen. It doesn't look like uh, any ordinary UFO, that's for sure, but it certainly doesn't look like an airplane or a blimp, uh, balloons or whatever. But this would have to be considered to be unknown. These unexplainable UFOs videotaped over Israel have never been sighted anywhere else in the world. Some believe the Holy Land may hold special significance for visitors from other worlds. Even Israeli television has broadcast images of possible UFOs on the news. However, according to Chamish, the Israeli military has secretly viewed UFOs as a possible threat. Israel has never admitted uh, to UFOs, and I know for a, a fact that our Air Force is chasing them constantly. I was in the Air Force. We were ordered not to tell you. This extraordinary footage may actually show a UFO being tracked by an Israeli military jet. The video was shot by a student named Gil Barr. I got my camera and zoom in on the object and uh, as I zoom in the object uh, began to get closer or brighter and I didn't understand what it was. But what happened next is even more baffling. Visually it appears as though the objects are interacting. Notice how the two seem to be checking each other out. But who is following who? Is the plane a fighter jet attempting to achieve lock-on or awaiting further instruction from the ground? Or is the orb engaging the jet in a little fun? Finally, the two seem to cross paths before the jet flies out of frame. It's an electronic cat and mouse game. You've got a high-flying surveillance plane throwing all this electronics on this uh, disc, and this disc kind of uh, bopping away from, uh, from the waves of the beams. I think it was just playing with this plane. But there was nothing playful about this dramatic UFO encounter recorded on September 28, 1996, near the town of Rashaim, not far from Tel Aviv. Could this be a UFO being shot down, or two rival UFOs engaged in battle? Chamish believes the craft involved are not of this world. We don't have these.